Okay, so increasing a, an amount by percentage, we should be able to do that. We first find the percentage of the amount that we want. So we got that from the previous um, exercise. A percentage of, of means times. And we can say 12% is 0.12. Remember, if you don't, if you can't do that in your head, then 12 divided by 100 um, times 80, and that will give you the same result. But we should be able to convert percentages to, into decimals pretty quickly. All right, we get 9.6, and then we add on the 9.6 to the 80. Now let's watch this magic. Grab your calculators and go 80 times 1.12. And when you pop that in your calculator, that's going to give you straight away 89.6. You're doing it in one step. That's it, all done and dusted. Okay, now why is that? Well, if you think about it, when you add on, right, this is the 12%. This is 100% of your original. So what is 100 plus 12? That gives you 112%. And if we change that to a decimal, that's 1.12. So that's our multiplier. 1.12 right and that works for everything so if I want to increase something by 33 percent my multiplier will be so I times by 1.33 if I want to increase something by 56 percent guess what yep you're going to multiply by 1.56 now careful, what happens if I increase by 5%? What will I multiply by? Don't say 1.5, it has to be 1.05, okay? Because if you multiplied by 1.5, that means you're actually increasing by 50%. Does that make sense? Okay, so now when we want to decrease, can you think of what your multiplier would be then now when we increased we said 100 plus 12 well if we decrease we're going to say 100 take 12 which will be 88 percent so let's have a look what happens if we multiply 80 by 0 0.88 what do we get so 80 times 0.88 we get 70.4 which isn't that the same as if we had 80 minus 9.6 which is what our 12 percent is you get the same answer okay oops forgot that answer 70.4 all right so now when I decrease by 33 percent right my multiplier is going to be what is 100 take 33 or well, 67 so I'm going to multiply by 0 0.67 if I decrease by 56 percent once again what is 100 take 56 so 44 so 0 0.44 decrease by 5 percent right 0.95 and we won't bother with the oh we might as well decrease right by 50 percent instead of times my 1.5 this is 0 0.5 how about we go with the um let's say if i am multiplying by 0 point i don't know let's say 0 0.2 what does that mean it means that i'm decreasing by 80%. Okay, so these are your multipliers. It means you can do these um, decreases and increases in one step rather than, you know, the two pronged approach up, up here. So let's have a look. Find the multiplier corresponding to each of the following. So when you pop it in your book, you're going to say an increase of 25%, right? We would times by 1.25. A decrease of 10%, we would multiply by 
0 0.9. Now, if you need to put an extra line of working, feel free. You're going 100 take 10, <clears throat> and that's 90%. And as a decimal, that's 0 0.9. All right. For C, we're decreasing by 19%. Again, you're going to say, what's 100? Take 19. So that gives you 82. So you will multiply by 0. Point, oh, it's not 82. It's 81. You'll multiply by 0. 0.81. Let's see if you can go and do those. 